Just a reminder of the Pulling Strings contest. Don't miss out. It ends next week, August the 16th, and you can win this free pair of earrings by putting in my comments box, I have the perfect outfit. Now remember, you have to be a subscriber. I wish you guys luck. Hey guys, it's Alila Saran, and in this video, I'm going to do a cool little DIY, so hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Um, basically, I'm going to show you how to make some really cool headbands. So I created this video because sometimes you're in between hair visits, you might have a bad hair day, or you're in a place where you have to get up and go and still look really cute. So I wanted to go beyond just having the regular plain black headband or just regular um, run of the mill headband. So I decided to create some because I haven't really seen any that really spark my um, fancy. So I created this one that's striped with gold studs um, and I'm going to show you guys how to make it step by step and even if you don't make one just like it you can get some ideas as to how to make one and just kind of spark your creativity. So let me show you. Okay, so you want to start off with your fabric. It's about 20 inches in length, uh, but you can measure it to whatever size you need yours to be at about 8 inches wide. So when folded, it comes out to be about 4 inches wide. Uh, you also want to have your studs or whatever accessory you want to add to it. I chose studs, which you can purchase them from like Michaels or any type of craft store um, should have something like that. You also want to have a needle and thread, uh, some elastic, which um, you probably need about two inches. So that finished product, you'll probably have about an inch and a half showing, depending on how much stretch you want. Now you want to sew down the side of the fabric on one side so that you can begin to turn it inside out like I did here. After you turn it inside out, you want to kind of stick your hand back through the inside and begin to stud. Um, I did it so that the studs do not show on the opposite side, but it's totally up to you. It's just a little neater and then also to keep from snagging in your hair. Uh, when you're done with that, you want to turn the corners of the uh, headband uh, toward one another like you're wrapping a present. And uh, you want to begin to form a little box and fold the insides inward as well. In the center, you want to slip the elastic in and begin to hand sew down. And voila, you have your headband, pretty simple. So hopefully you guys will like that one as well. I'll show you how to do that one step by step too. The steps in this one is a little bit more involved and I'll show you uh, what I did and how I arrived at this. But simple feathers that I got from like a craft store uh, along with the chain and some excess beads. Now you don't have to go exactly with what I'm doing, but it's always a good place to start just as far as an idea. So go crazy, pick whatever feathers you want, whatever kind of chains you want. You can either do, um, you can even do like leather or um, any color beads. But I thought this one was really fun. It was really cool. And you can definitely wear it out at night if you wanted to give yourself like an extra spark and pizzazz. So who says because your hair is not done or you're, you were in a hurry that you can't look extra fab? Okay, first, um, since this one is a little more involved, you'll need some scissors, some jewelry pliers, a pair of tweezers, and then little O-rings that you can bend and clasp together. Um, you're also going to need a hot glue gun along with... Um, course the glue sticks and I'm showing you you're going to use it later on to um, glue your feathers um, then what I, I did with this one is I made the actual headband base from a t-shirt now you don't have to do that you can just go buy a simple uh, black headband if you want save yourself some time you will also need some feathers you can choose whatever color combination you want I chose this one I thought it was fun 
um, great family of colors and kind of like nighttime and daytime ish at the same time. Um, you'll also need some beads um, and then you'll need some chain. Now, again, you can buy it at a craft store like a Michaels um, or any type of arts and craft store. You should be able to find something like that. Um, and then again, same instructions from before about 10 inches and in, uh, sorry, 20 inches in length uh, and folded in half. Uh, you can skip that part as far as if you buy your own headband. This is what the finished product looks like of the headband. What you want to do is take the chain and you want to sew it to both ends, leaving one side free. Uh, so that's just the finished product. And where that, I have that pin right there is basically where I uh, stop sewing so that it has a little room to dangle and um, have some movement to it. Now again, you're going to use your glue gun and you want to stack the beads on top of your feather. Now I took a little piece of fabric and glued it to the base of the feather so that the beads wouldn't go past there. Uh, the next thing you want to do is secure your chain onto the feather. Um, well, Actually, you could secure it onto the little piece of fabric that was um, glued to the um, base of the feather and then string it through. Now again, uh, coming back to the O-rings that are right there, you want to take them and clasp them onto the chain. Um, you could do it at various graduating lengths. As you can see in the picture finished product, uh, you kind of get an idea as to how to do that. This one was a little more involved. Um, sorry I don't have more pictures. I realize that now that I could have given you a little more pictures. But as you can see, I just kind of attached the um, feathers in a graduating style and basically you just want to chain them together and you can kind of freestyle this and come up with whatever look uh, that you want but all in all those are the things that you'll need hope you like my finished product I had fun with this one um, and you can always inbox me if you need a little further detail if you actually want to try this one out okay so I actually did wear this headband after making it and I got a ton of um, compliments on it. So if you have a little confusion trying to recreate it, feel free to inbox me and I will get back to you. I do apologize. So hopefully I sparked some ideas for you guys. It was really fun doing a DIY. I always love doing them. They challenge me, spark my creativity. So hopefully I gave you guys some ideas and I will talk to you soon. Follow me on Twitter at Alila Sara, and that's A-L-E-L-A-S-I-R-A-H. Talk to you guys soon.